everyone today I've got an unboxing video for you and I'm going to open the box open up the items and try them out um, I think I know what this is I have undone the tape ready and uh, so let's get into the box now this is a parcel from Grabby now they contacted me and uh, asked me if I wanted to um, choose something from their website for them to send me for free so this is a freebie which is very kind of them and uh, here we go <clears throat> so it's just been wrapped up in a bit of wrap and we have got um, a 12% um, off card and uh, you can colour the back I'm not going to use these pencils on this card um, today I'm going to try them elsewhere so what I chose was some metallic pencils this was primarily because I really like the castle metallic pencils and I thought it would be nice to have something um, else I could compare them and see what these now also I've never had any brute Funa pencils and I hear a lot of good things about them but I don't know about the metallics so let's have a look obviously we've got our um little window we can see the pens tantalizingly inside I want to try them here's the back it's all very plain packaging so I'm going to open it there's a little tab here at the bottom so uh, let's uh, there we go and open the bottom I'm just going to tip them all out in theory there we go so we'll have a, you'll have a look at the same time as me. I'm trying to keep them in order, and it's quite tricky. Okay, there we go. So, first thing that strikes me, I want to roll away, is that they have black wood, which is interesting. We have a variety of colours. I think this one might have got out of order. Basically, we seem to have for what looks like pinks but maybe purples not sure maybe reds in there got a silver a sort of brownish color and a gold and then a couple of greens and blues i think actually these might be the purples at this end now i thought we would try them out obviously that's that's what it's half it's all about let's just have a quick look at the pencil it seems quite thick the barrel um i don't have a pencil in here oh i do hang on let's compare I've got a Norris um, pencil here. This is just a standard writing pencil. Yeah, maybe it would be the same. I mean, obviously this is hexagonal. Let's have a look at this. Um, I've got Prisma here. If I just want to come out of the box. So we can... I think it's about the same. If not, yeah, I think it's about the same as the Prisma size-wise. Let's put the Prisma away. That's for um, my next video. Right, <clears throat> so it just says metallic colour pencil brute funa on there and there's nothing else on there at all. Okay, so we've got no colour identification means apart from the colour of the actual barrel. Um, no numbers, no names, anything like that. But we do tend to find that, I tend to find that, I just need to pull the box along so we can keep them there. I do tend to find that with, um, <clears throat> with, um, budget brands they don't always have names and numbers which can be a bit annoying now i've got my rooms of wonder and there's a page here um that i haven't done with lots of metallic type items so i thought these pencils would be really use good for this page i've got to reorganize myself hold on a minute Three pencils at the top there we go if i move my book down um, pencils there well you don't really need to see the pencils like that so i'm not going to color a huge area of book sorry i'm keep reorganizing i'll get there in a minute um maybe we'll just do like this this one item or something in a mix of colors um and see how it comes out perhaps we'll do that now we're going to start with this first one which is the really sort of pinky pinky one that came out first and i'm just gonna go for it see for me this page all these bits will be metallic um it's only and um, we've got some potions somewhere which i would do slightly differently so i'm gonna do this bit here it's gonna be quite hard to see because we've got this black line on it's quite vibrant soft 
which is nice. That's a nice colour. I have to say, this over here, this is Castle Arts Metallic, so you can compare. I think this is more vibrant um, than those. Um, it might be a softer pencil. Now the next one, I just show you the barrel, but I don't know how much it really tells you. I don't know if this is going to match this or not. Um, let's do a different bit down here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to put it next to it in case it is red or something. But I think that's sort of fairly red rather than pink. Um, then we'll go for this one. This one seems much lighter. Look at the end. And I don't know if that's like an orange or a pink. I'm going to risk putting it here. I still can't tell what that is. I think that is pink. Ugh, my stomach's gurgling away. I've not long had lunch. I think this might be a red, but again, I can't tell. I think that's red. Um, let's do this bit of this handle. Gosh, I'm getting really hot. I think that's pinky. Yeah. Now we've got a silver. Okay, but I notice it's got a bit of colour in there. I think there might just be a bit of discoloration in the wood. I want to do this um, pipe here, silver. Now, one thing I always, always find with metallic pencils, I've used three or four sets now, is that they're never as shiny as you might expect them to be um, because they're pencil. They're not paint. So you sort of sometimes think, oh, I wish it was shinier. So that's one thing to expect from all metallic. This is the one I thought looked brownish. I'm going to do um, this sort of tap bit. I think that's quite a nice sort of bronzy almost. Um, so they're never going to be as shiny as a paint, a glitter, a, a, a gel pen, that sort of thing. This is the gold. Um, what should we do gold? Do the buttons. Um, so there is that to bear in mind um, and they will only shine when you tip them to the light like a pen would as well um, so they might look really flat now but once I tip them into the light they might shine up more but we don't know yet got a green I'm going to do this long handle in green um, what I tend to do technique wise with a metallic pencil is treat them like a normal one so you see how I've left a shine line in the middle of there even though it's a shiny pencil this is a gorgeous color wow that's so pretty um so then it gives even more of the illusion of shine even so if it's not tipped to the light you can still see it's supposed to be shiny I've messed that up a bit hey now we've got another green, but I think this is more of a bluey green. And I am so mad. Look at the mix of colour. I would never colour something like this normally. I'm going to have to make this whole page just completely mad colours. That would be good, won't it? Good for me to step out of my comfort zone. Let's move you across a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe this. This is a nice colour too. Oh, that. That one a bit dry, I felt like I needed to turn it round. They might just need sharpening because obviously I haven't sharpened them. But uh, I think it's okay. Now I've got a really cheapy budget set of um, of metallic pencils. This is a blue. And um, they, um, when you press hard and layer them up, they go really thick and sticky. And I'm not sure whether these are going to do that or not, like a Prisma does, to be honest, or a Derwent um, Light Fast. If you press really hard, it goes. So I'm going to test that in a minute. And we're going to blend some. <coughs> Excuse me, this I think is just either a dark blue or a purple. I'm going to go up here. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I uh, hear. <laughs> That's pretty. I'm really liking these colours. 
Now I don't know anything about Brute Funa pencils apart from the fact that a lot of people love them and rave about them and I don't know anything about their metallic range whether this is the only set they do or whether they do a bigger set and whether Grubby sells them at a good bargain price or whether they're cheaper elsewhere I've got absolutely no idea so I can't tell you that at all so there's a bit of that I feel like I want to try and blend some and I'm not going to do it on here because I think I'm going to keep this all single colors so, if I do a big mishmash of color and then I blend them as well it's going to be just bonkers so I'm just going to get my pad which I have here this is just a normal notebook so it's not coloring paper and I'm going to do um a purple to pink mm. let's do a blue i know let's try something really daring Ooh. hang on <laughs> let's try gold and blue and see whether we can get green i'm really interested so i'm gonna really plaster it down to start with here now that hasn't gone all thick and gloopy which I'm for me I'm very happy about that it's quite a grey blue isn't it and then I'm just gonna run it out and then I'm gonna grab the gold and I'm gonna start about here get some down look at that it's gorgeous and then blend it across to about there now I don't know how well they're going to mix together. I thought we might get a green as we're mixing a gold and a blue, but I think this gold is more of a brown tone, so we're not getting black green. But it's still mixing together. I'm just um, using the technique that I would use to mix polychromos because it's the only blending technique that I know. And there we go, it is mixing, but it's just not making a very nice colour. <laughs> now, something else I'm going to try is, I'm going to do this again, thick and then thinner. What I sometimes find is with a metallic pencil, if you put it down quite thinly, it doesn't shine. But if you make it thick, it does. So I'm going to tip it to the light so you can see it is shining. And you can see with that one how this bit is quite shiny at this end. But as you go across like this, there's no shine to this. And I think that, as I say, that one is layered up a lot, so we've got more shine. You can definitely see some shine. I'm going to do the same with this page. You can see, I think there'll be less shine here. I can see a bit. But sometimes, like, there's none on that castle either, really. But, uh, yeah, I'm really liking those colours. Um, some of them are quite similar. I think it might be easy to see them if I swatched them on the pad. Um, just so you can see what's going on quite thickly. So we've got that one. That is the one we did on the handle. Sort of almost a... Uh, wow, well, I'm not going to try and name them actually. And then we've got this, which is definitely red. Yeah. Um, that one looks a sort of pink or light red. And then this one which is again quite red and then we have our silver our sort of brownish colour which I think could be used for coppers, bronzes that sort of thing a gold Then we have a green, that gorgeous green that I really look at that. I love that. Let's push them up a bit, finish it off. We've got the sort of bluey green, which again is gorgeous. The, <clears throat> I don't know which order these go in. That's a really lovely blue. And this sort of 
very different blue which is also very pretty and then this sort of indigo-ish I would say we haven't really got a purple in there so there they are tip them to the light you can see they are shiny so I would say um, this is very pretty that's a very good red it's very hard to get a red um, metallic pencil that's a good one this pink is a bit almost fleshy salmony like my flesh I mean you know that sort of tone this one is more of a dirty red but we've got our silver and our sort of copper and bronze and then all these very pretty it's got a lovely range of pretty colors so those are though the um the pencils now I am going to finish this um monstrosity of a of a <laughs> page and hopefully because we've got such a lovely pretty selection of colors I'm hoping that it's going to look really nice when it's all done and it's going to be such a big mishmash which is just not like me at all but I think it's going to work um, some of these colors are so pretty I shall mix them up a lot more make it look more random I think or else it's going to be very strange I think if some of them were too close and some of them were random that's going to look odd and do all that and uh, um, I will complete the page. I might just do the, these liquids in a different pencil just to make them look different because they aren't, they obviously aren't metal. Um, but I think I'm going to have fun and the shelf work I'll probably do in a more conventional pencil. But that's those, so there's 12 of those, I did say on the packet, yeah, 12. So that's rather fun. So uh, there we go. So I hope that was um, okay for you. Um, as I say, they went down nicely on the Johanna Basford paper. Obviously, I'm going to finish this off. Um, what I will do is when it's done, I will post a completed picture on my Facebook page. I'm not sure when I'm going to put this video out, so it may not be done by the time the video goes out um, because I might put the video out tomorrow, but I may not. Um, so I will put a completed picture and I will t report back on things like sharpening because I'm sure I'll need to sharpen them at some point um, and um, basically whether I've changed my mind about how they feel. So look out for that on my Facebook page. There's a link to my Facebook in my um, video description. Or if you don't see the Facebook page and you, or you're not on Facebook, you can't see it, whatever it is, leave me a a question in the comments if you've got one and I'll see if I can answer it so that might be helpful as well but uh, that is me um, that is those um, so thank you Grabby I'm gonna definitely enjoy those I was a little bit cautious thinking they might be a little bit too similar to another budget set I've got and they're really not they're a lot nicer so that's really good news I'm pleased about that we've got a really nice the red I can't get over but the other colors very pretty range of colors so I'm really pleased um the green although I love it it doesn't really go with these you know but I don't think that matters I think um we can certainly do a lot with them so I'm very happy so uh, yeah well thank you for watching um I hope that was okay and interesting for you um and uh, have a really lovely day and happy coloring <laughs>